Hey guys, let's talk about the unsung hero of Red Wing Boots. Back in a minute. Welcome back to the channel guys. Thank you all for tuning in. Um, got another boot review today. Uh, looking forward to this one because this is one of my, my favorite all time boots ever is Red Wing. I've liked them, oh, probably since I was in high school. Uh, I've never had a chance to have as many as I have now, which these are all been collected over the years. I just try to take care of them. And if, it's a good point if you do take care of them, they will last you a long time. Um, but today's video, what I want to do is do a video on what I, I consider the unsung hero of Red Wing boots, work boots. Um, you know, we hear a lot about the Mach the 875, the 877s, uh, the Mach uh, I'd call them just, you know, regular wearing out shoes. And, and yes, they're all great. They are wonderful boots. They wear good, they work good. Uh, they're what I call a serviceable shoe where you can get things fixed on them. You can get soles put on them and you can get whatever needs to be done, really. And you can get that all done through Red Wing. But the one I, I have been wearing now since probably October of last year is a Super Soul 402. Now, a Super Soul, what, it, what is a little bit different about it? Well, for one thing, it doesn't have the, the welt, the Goodyear welt like the Mock Toes do. But this boot, to me, I have thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed it. Now, I, I will say this, this is, not, this is not a shoe review where I'm gonna cut this thing in half. It, not nothing wrong with that, that's fine. If you wanna do that to a perfectly good pair of shoes, that's, that's fine. We're not gonna do my boots like that. Um, I wear these and I enjoy these, so we're not gonna do that. And I'm not gonna measure the thickness of the leather because you know what, you know, we can just look at these and tell, hey, it's, it's got some good leather on it. It's a fine craftsmanship. But just wanted to have a little short video and just mention the fact that these boots are, and I had a pair of these probably, oh, back in the early 2000s. And I don't know how I got away from them, but these boots, and I've cleaned them up. Now I have been wearing these guys for, and I've cleaned them up good, which we want to talk about that in a second too. I've been wearing them, so they got some scuff marks on them, but I had some in the 2000s, and uh, I don't know how I got away from them, but I did. And Red Wing sent me these. I had mentioned that I was going to get a pair, and so the girl, the real nice lady at Red Wing, she sent me a pair, and, uh, and I told her, I said, you know what, I'll, I'll do a boot review on them. She didn't ask me to, but I've enjoyed them. I do, as you guys know, a review from me is I work on construction sites. I have to get on ladders. I have to walk on stilts, which I haven't done that in the last ooh, month since I fell off some or fell while on some would be more the technical term. But um, and so just like today, we just got back from Fayetteville today and I walked all day long on concrete and stairs and everything else. Um, what I wanted to talk about is the sole itself, the difference in these shoes. As far as the comfort, yes, they are comfort. They do, what differ, differs for this shoe, this shoe has a leather insole and it has cork up under that and some other things and it, it's pretty comfortable. But what I like about the Super Sole, it actually comes with a nice, nice pour on insole uh, from Red Wing and it's very super comfortable in the shoe. So when you have a shoe, from my understanding, it's not built. If, if they built that shoe for these not to be in there, then you, when you add a pair of these in there, it kind of changes the shoe quite a bit. But these shoes are built to have inserts in them or, or have these gel pour on or gel inserts. Um, where these were not built to have inserts in them. So when you put inserts in it, it changes the, the characteristics of the inside of the shoe from what I understand. Now, I do have to do one thing, and I think I've mentioned this before. 
I do have to wear these in my boots, and these are uh, these get your arch up off the floor. It's not that I have flat arches, but I'm just trying to take pressure off of my heel. And so that, that changes the characteristic a little bit, but it's not enough. These are so small and stuff, it's not enough to uh, hurt the wearing of the shoe. But the sole on these, instead of um, being stitched in with the Goodyear welt, these soles are molded to the bottom of these boots. Um, which in my opinion helps them clean up good because you can really get in here with a brush and clean this up real nice. I've been wearing these, I think I said since um, uh, October and I've barely wore off a little bit. Whereas some of my other boots that I've wore a little bit more, I don't think I've wore these near as much as I have these. And this is actually wore off pretty good. It's got a pretty good angle on it right there. And this is hardly anything. Um, they're just, they're super comfortable. They're warm. Um, and the thing, the thing that gets me, you can actually take this, this is a USA made boot. You can actually take this boot, send it back to Red Wing. I don't know how they do it. Maybe they have a video on it, but they can put this back in a mold and put you a new sole on your boot so it is repairable so if you do wear the sole out wear the heel out or something like that and you've taken real good care of the uppers uh, you can get it resold so i just wanted to make a quick video on what i think is one of the unsung heroes of the red wing boot family which is the super soles and how comfortable and how good they are on jobs and work and uh, this is a boot Yes, they are. Just like any Red Wing, they are not 50 bucks or $60 or even that. You know, most of their USA shoes, I, I would dare say, was probably going to be 200 and above. Uh, but you, I think, you know, if, you, if a person bought a pair of these, I mean, as much as I walk in these things, we're talking all day long, every day on a construction site somewhere, I can get a couple years out of them easy and so if you didn't wear them that much i mean you, you know you could these these shoes right here are going on 10 years old um so you know let's say they were 200 dollars when when i got them 10 years i mean that's this shoe has lasted me 10 years and it i mean it's ready to and you guys can see it it's ready to go for another 10 years uh we just you know we keep them Try to keep them a little bit of mink oil on them, clean them up with some saddle soap. Uh, that's what I do the D's most of the time on Saturdays when I get Saturday, Friday evening, Saturday when I get off work. I'll clean them with saddle soap, put some mink oil on them, and just let them sit till Monday morning and they're ready to go for the next week. But hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, I know it's kind of a short video, not too long, but just wanted to give a shout out to my Super Souls, how well they are. Um, and I, I don't think you would go wrong if you were looking to buy some. Again, they're Super Soul 402, USA made. And I think it'd be a real good work boot for you. Thanks again. Look forward to another video. We're going to get working on the trot to here for long, I hope. We got some more irrigation to get out of, the, uh, out of Sam's field. I'd like to try to do that as soon as it dries up a little bit. And, Gaining a few subscribers every week. Just want to thank all the new subscribers. Thank you guys. Uh, it's winter time. You know how it is. Everybody gardens. The, the ones that watch these channels, they kind of know something about gardening. They know winter time's not that big of a garden season, but we'll get in there. It, it, it's going to come on around. So in the meantime, we'll do stuff like this. Uh, let me know if you would like to do a review on some razors. Now, I, I, uh, I'm a bit, I like Gillette double-edged razors so let me know if you'd like me to do a review on some razors that i have gotten over the years and i do still use i know i'm wearing a beard but i still shave the bottom of my neck so we still shave some uh and if, and if i get to my weight goal we're gonna shave it all off so <laughs> but anyway thanks again god bless you god loves you we'll see you